Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about something that I get asked regularly. Is a boat a good investment? I think you'll be surprised by my answer. So when it comes to the question of whether or not a boat is a good investment, right away my brain goes to good financial investment. And by good financial investment, I'm thinking of financial return on investment. Well, <laughs> I think that answer is pretty obvious with a couple of caveats. For example, up here in the Chesapeake Bay, if you were to buy a crabbing boat with the intention of making a living as a crabber, well, then it would be a good investment. Similarly, in other areas, for example, there was a young man who returned from Vietnam, and when he came back from Vietnam, he bought a shrimp boat, became a shrimp boat captain. You know, his name was Forrest Gump. Typically, a boat, like a car, is not a good financial investment in terms of delivering you financial return on your investment. Because they depreciate, they wear out, and very few of them end up becoming worth more later than the price you paid when you purchased them. So obviously there is no financial reward unless you're a commercial fisherman to having a boat. Where the real return on investment comes is whether or not you will get the appropriate amount of enjoyment out of a boat. We can all imagine and visualize thinking how much we'd love to be out on a boat. For example, I'm out right now this morning and the water is flat as glass. It's beautiful, it's not hot. There's some geese crossing the river. Um, it's fantastic to be out in my boat. If I lived 20 miles away from the water and had to hook up my boat trailer, get my boat all ready to come down here drive through traffic and everything else, wait in line at the marina to be able to launch my boat, to be able to go out to do this, that might not be worth it. When you look at what it costs to purchase a boat, fuel it up, take it out, all those kinds of things, it might be something where you uh, do the numbers and go, you know what, that's not worth it to me. Now, if you're like me, where you live near the water, my boat is kept in a marina, and I can just walk down to my boat and hop on pretty much any time and go out, it's a no-brainer for me. you really think you're only going to go out a couple of times a year and you don't have a way to keep your boat in or near the water, wouldn't it be much more cost effective to rent a boat or borrow a boat whenever you want to take it out for a little while? That way you don't have to worry about boat maintenance or anything else. All you got to do is enjoy the boat. If boating is something that you're, you're potentially passionate about, you love the water, then it's totally worth the investment. Obviously, you have to have the means to do so, but there are affordable ways to get into things like boating. So I think really what it boils down to is you have to be realistic about what your expectations are. There are a lot of boats that people have that they just leave sitting in their driveway, just rotten away. 
because they just don't have the time or the energy or the desire to take it out anymore. Which is also why I often recommend buying a cheap old boat for your first boat. That way your outlay of cash is limited and your losses are limited as well. Because if you spend $35,000 for a boat that you bought new, you use it five times and it sits in your yard for five years. When you go to sell that boat, you're not going to get anywhere near that for it. When instead, if you bought a $3,000 boat and you do the same, you might be able to sell that boat for $1,000 and only have lost $2,000. I know, that even sounds pretty significant, but that's just being realistic. I hope you got something out of this today. Please feel free to comment, add your thoughts below. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.